All praises to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things and the master of the day of judgment, our loving heavenly father. Hallelujah. And to our most beautiful mother, Mari Hala, much love, honor, and respect, mother. Thank you so much for the wisdom that you've imparted unto us. And we pledge our allegiance to our Messiah, the King and the God of this earth. Our big brother. Today we're going to be taking another magical document to the courts of the Most High. Yes, this was a very powerful, magical document created by this wicked Matrix magician Willie Lynch. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. Before we get started, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Welcome to my station, and if you're new, you're going to see some unbelievable signs and wonders. And I am a magician for the Most High, and He is revealing to me, and Mother is giving me the wisdom and understanding of the Most High's magic and the magic of this matrix. So today we're going to be dealing with the Willie Lynch letter that had a powerful magical spell against us Hebrew Israelites the lions of Judah yes we are the people of the book we are the people that was in Egypt yes that made the exodus that was us and if you're a descendant of the Atlantic slave trade more than likely you are of the tribe of Judah or A.K.A. Yehuda. Yes, we're named after Yahoo. The lions of Judah are awakening in this 3D dimension. And the Most High has anointed them. Have anointed their voices. Hallelujah. And they're destroying the magic. The wicked, evil magic. That had us subdued in our captivity. And so that's what we're going to be dealing with on today. The Most High wants us to see his magic. And how he's checkmating the status quo. Hallelujah. Now this magical document here. Yeah, Willie Lynch was a matrix magician. He was very powerful. The spell in this document lasted for centuries. Yes, and so we want to, the Most High wants us to be aware of the trick and the spell that was over us so that we can recognize it and we can totally, totally destroy the Willie Lynch letter. Yeah, it's, it's very weak right now because so many of us are awakened. Yeah. So let's just look at what's in this letter because you're going to see how powerful this letter was over us. The reading of the spell of the Willie Lynch letter. Your invitation reached me on my modest plantation in the West Indies where I have experimented with some of the newest and still the oldest methods of control of slaves. Ancient Rome would envy us if my program is implemented. As our boat sailed south on the James River, named for our illustrious king, whose version of the Bible we cherish, I saw enough to know that your problem is not unique. While Rome used cords of wood as crosses for standing human bodies along its highways in great numbers, 
you are here using the tree and the rope on occasion. Yes, this wicked matrix magician, Willie Lynch, said that he experimented on his slaves. Okay, he experimented. And his experiments were mostly psychological. This was a psychological, magical spell that kept us subdued. Once we know the secrets of this document, we have the power to destroy it, to destroy the magic. Listen carefully, and you're going to recognize how this document had power over us. I caught the whiff of a dead slave hanging from a tree a couple miles back. You are not only losing valuable stock by hanging, you are having uprising slaves are running away. Your crops are sometimes left in the field too long for maximum profit. You suffer occasional fires. Your animals are killed. Gentlemen, you know what your problems are. I do not need to elaborate. I am not here to enumerate your problems. I am here to introduce you to a method of solving them in my bag here. I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. Guarantee every one of you that if installed correctly, it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. Mm. My methods are simple. Any of your family members can use it. Or your overseers can use it. I have outlined a number of differences among the slaves. And I take these differences and make them bigger. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. These methods have worked on my modest plantation in the West Indies, and it will work throughout the South. Take this simple list of differences and think about them. On top of my list is age, but, of, but it's there only because it starts with an A. The second is color or shade. There is intelligence, size, sex, sizes of plantations, status on plantations, attitude of owners, whether the slaves live in the valley or hill, east, west, north, south, have fine hair, coarse hair, or is tall or short. Now that you have a list of differences, I shall give you an outline of action. But before that, I assure you that distrust is stronger than trust. Envy is stronger than adulation. Respect or admiration. I am a magician of the kingdom of love and light. And our spirit mother, Marihala, the Ruach Kakadash, there has given me knowledge because she wants her children to know their magic and the magic of their enemies. So now do you believe me when I say that there are magical documents with spells and curses attached to them that has affected Hebrew Israelites, the melanated ones. That Willie Lynch magical document worked. And if it was broke, why fix it? Now he did guarantee that it will last at least 300 years if they followed the formula and his instructions on how to uh, keep us in captivity. 
and it worked because we have been in a very low vibrational state before our awakening and there's still some very low fibers, the two thirds for example. And as long as they can keep us in that low vibrational state, their magic is effective against us. When we raise our vibe, that's a defense. Secondly, he used the natural things that divide us like sex and age, the tones of our skin, etc., etc. See, these are natural things that make us different from each other. And he exaggerated it by making one feel that their, theirs is better than the other, whatever the, the, uh, that difference, that natural difference is, or making another feel like they were lower than the other because of that natural factor that divided us because if he could keep us divided if he could keep us if the enemy of our soul can keep us divided in any way by any means we are weakened he also used distrust and envy you know just keeping us divided and so we see where this Willie Lynch magic affected us because it's so difficult for us to get together and build businesses so you see the evil magic worked that evil practice of keeping us in captivity do you guys remember the planet of the apes yeah i, I want to look at um you know just a little snippet of the planet of the apes you know i believe this was predictive programming warning warning to the colonizers of what's going to happen so we have a little slave catcher here yeah little Will willie lynch boy yeah the privileged one yeah and most of the time they are very very mean yeah, they like to bully people into submission. And um, he had this whole um, primate, uh, what do they call them? Primate um, sanctuary under his control. And so Caesar, Caesar, and it, I, I would say Caesar, represents star seeds. See, Caesar wasn't fearful. Caesar knew that there was a difference between the primates, but yet they were all of one family. And he used his influence, and now he's using his bravery. His bravery against the colonizers. Now you see the energy of the other ones. You see that energy? And he takes his weapon away. He takes the weapon from the colonizer. Take your stinking paw off me, you damn dirty ape! No! And Caesar's voice reverberated to all of those that surrounded him. You see how powerful energy is and that's when they join their energy together under Caesar that's what's happening to the magic of Willie Lynch our 400 years of captivity is over and the Most High did that magical spell in 2017 with that lunar eclipse and woke us up. And we're no longer afraid. We're no longer afraid. We know that they spy on us. We know that what they used to do to us, they can no longer do. Yes, we will have the victory star seed united. You know, there was a scene on Planet of the Apes where Caesar was talking to the orangutan 
and the orangutan said humans are stupid and he said the one you know he broke the one stick that he had and then he gathered them all together and he says together we're strong yeah i think it was him or caesar that said that nevertheless join joined energy you know when we break down the walls that come between us you know there are star seed in every walk of life. There's star seed on every single level. There's star seed that have very little knowledge. They're just resonating with truth right now and looking for it and mother's guiding them to truth. Okay, you guys, now I need to move back a little bit to May 25th, 2020, when Derek Chauvin unalived George Floyd in front of the world because when that happened the magic in the Willie Lynch letter started to deteriorate because of cell phones and witnesses it was undeniable that the spirit of the slave catchers that practiced Willie Lynch magic survived through generations with their cruelty this was an undeniable display of the slave catchers. Yeah. And that we were still slaves. Yeah, we just went from chattel slavery to indentured servitude. Yeah, and many of us woke up to the fact that we didn't want to be slaves anymore. We wanted our true freedom in the most high start waking us up. And he started activating voices that reverberate and make changes through his star seed. And those anointed star seed with their powerful magical voices are making changes and destroying the status quo. You serve at our pleasure. We buy your houses. We buy your cars. We pay for you and your wife's vacations and the people are serving notice on the government of the United States. We are serving notice on the state of New York. We are serving notice on the mayor of this city. We are serving notice on the city council that if you do not do your job, you will no longer have a job. Now I identify this one with star seed because of the power, the anointed magical power of her voice reverberated all through that court or that council meeting. It reverberated to everyone that heard it. And something that I see, seen uh, that she did along with Justin Jones, they made manifestations, okay. So she made a manifestation. If you don't do your job, you will not have a job. That was casting a spell. Now, if they don't do their job, they won't have their job. Like when Justin Jones said, I know you have the majority vote. I know you have the vote, but you will not have the victory. That was a manifestation. We've seen the results of what happened with that. I live in Harlem and I'm telling you, the, there is, we are living in the middle of a crack epidemic nightmare. People need help. It is a violent circle of oppression when you create the situation and then when we go out to protest the situation, you in turn exact more violence upon us. Yes, this star seed is fighting for our freedom. Yeah, and so with her voice and her influence, you know, forget anything else except for the truth that's coming out of her mouth and you can't help but to resonate that what she is saying is truth. They created the problem, the Willie Lynch magic. When they poured the crack and the guns in our neighborhood, that was a, all a part of subduing us, pitting us against one another, and then using the overseers, the slave catchers, to control us and to bully us into submission. I recommend that you watch her speech in entirety. It was awesome. 
she was roaring honey she is a lion she is a star seed and she did an awesome awesome job of word magic to dispel willie lynch and the status quo okay you guys we're gonna go over to the most highest magic because certain things happens on certain dates and so last year eight eight the lion's gate was supercharged and the most high gave us a great elevation there are many mysteries unfolding on the body of the archangel uriel of africa and we found portals where gods were in that disappeared and they're riding this earth this one remains in this portal for now i imagine when he is unleashed, 144,000 will be activated. This is the crown lion, the lion of Judah. And he's a titan, just like the fighter. And he has a tilted crown on his head. Who wears a tilted crown? Another hint of who Judah really is. Lion Gates activation series is divinely inspired to support you during this time and freeing yourself from lower densities so you can tap into the light of the higher dimensions and step into alignment with your highest divine expression of love. The Leo energy that we're all experiencing, regardless of your personal zodiac sign, is associated with royalty. And so this alignment can be seen as awakening the royal code of higher living, which are available for all. This gateway creates an incredible period of accelerated ascension. This gateway creates an incredible period of accelerated ascension. And this year, amidst the already potent waves of change and transformation, it's supercharged. So that was the most high breaking the spell on us. Hallelujah. And look at the lioness and the lions that are rising, changing the status quo. Now, she said in her speech, if you don't do your job, you won't have one. Well, I've been following the president of the New York State Police Union. And you wouldn't guess what his name is. I want you guys to pay attention. But she made that manifestation and it's already happening. It's magical. And Pat Lynch, and Pat Lynch is stepping down. Lynch told union members in an email today that he's out when his term expires in June. Last week, the PBA announced a historic tentative contract with the city after six years without one. Lynch says one reason he's stepping down now is because he can't negotiate the next contract. He reaches mandatory NYPD retirement age in 2026. Lynch is the longest serving PBA president on record. Now, you know that's a magical sign from the Most High. His name is Pat Lynch. Now, I always identified him as being a spiritual descendant of Willie Lynch. And that was my opinion because I seen him responding on several issues. And so when I heard the girl's speech, I said, let me go check on old Patty and see what he's up to. And just five days ago, he resigned. Now, we've seen the power and the magic of that lioness speaking the truth. Well, Patrick Lynch, he had a very powerful, magical voice, too, until about three years ago. Yeah, I, I considered him to be the guardian of the Willie Lynch letter because he would always cover for the overseers or the other slave catchers when they would be violent towards us and unjust towards us. Here come Patrick. And yeah, I, I've called them slave catchers because that's where it all began. That's how the police 
and law enforcement began was with the slave catchers. So that's why I call them that. And from what we saw in the just a portion of the Willie Lynch uh, letters, you know, they they are part of the the whole programming too to keep us in line. And so he always covered for them, you know, like they would say it's a well, they say it's a big it's a blue wall, yeah, because they cover for each other. Well, there you have it. Three hundred seventy-five million interactions with the public every year 375 million interactions in the papers that in the black community mothers are worried about their children getting home from school without being killed by a cop what world are we living in that doesn't happen magical spell liar liar pants on fire Abracadabra! <laughs> it does not happen. I am not Derek Chabon. They are not him. He killed someone. We didn't. We are restrained. And you know what? I'm saying this to all the cops here. Because you know what? Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators. The press. Everybody's trying to shame us into being embarrassed about our profession. Well, you know what? This isn't stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. So do theirs. Stop treating us like animals and folks and start treating us with some respect. Everybody's turned their back on the slave catcher. Yes, media. But politicians, they've turned their backs on them. They're not backing them up for their uh, cruelty towards us any longer. And they picked the worst guy of them all. He's so full of anger and frustration. Look, they are suffering mental illness because they can't get high off of those endorphins and high off of that adrenaline that they get in that rush when they abuse us, when they gang bang us, when they shoot us, when they bully us around, when they throw us in jail with impunity. And so now they're suffering with mental illness. Suicide, don't fucking do it. Come on. Professional treatment. Suicide, don't fucking do it. Come on. It solves nothing and leaves devastation behind you. Just don't do it. To the Just don't do it. To the Stop destroying the careers of cops who reach out for help. End the demonization and anti-cop rhetoric. Reduce the bureaucratic torment of the job rather than adding to it all the time. Pay us like other police officers and treat us like professionals. You are offering none of that. Blah, 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 white man. Blah, blah, blah. You sound like you're begging now and nobody's listening. Yes, you've lost your matrix magical voice. Your voice of influence is gone now. Patrick, go sit down. You made the right decision. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he's suffering from anxiety, too. Just losing his voice like that. I mean, you know, when you're privileged and you always manage to have favor, you know, and people, you know, go with your influence and then you no longer have it. Yeah, I can imagine how he feels right now. I foresee many law enforcement officers retiring and quitting their jobs because they can't rule us the way that they used to rule us. The spotlight is on everything that they do. In addition to that, being a law enforcement officer was considered to be a very honorable profession and now is seen as a very corrupt, very corrupt profession. And so it's shame on them as well. In addition to that, the lights are on everywhere. You can binge watch the public auditors. Yeah, they audit the police. You know, if somebody's getting stopped for a ticket, they're there with their, 
cameras. If somebody uh, gets stopped walking and the police is talking to them, they're there with their cameras. They're all over the place. And so they can't get away with anything. And our star seed during 8-8 woke up. A lot of the young people woke up and were elevated and they no longer fear. In the early part of our awakening, there is also anger. And that's what they fear. 16-year-old boy punching officers after he was confronted for illegally jumping a turnstile. The suspect was arrested and charged with assault of an officer, obstruction and resisting arrest. He was released the very next day. The police union says the only way to make streets and subways safer is with a justice system that backs them up. All right, joining us this morning, Pat Lynch, president of the PBA. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Oh, good to be back. I'm sorry person. under these circumstances. Yeah. That video that you tweeted out yesterday, I think everybody was so angry. But the governor of New York, despite the mayor saying we need to call... Now, I'm not condoning the violence. I'm not condoning violence at all, you know, but there is a lot of energy out there that is misdirected and very angry and they're not afraid. And, you know, that fearlessness along with when you uh, first awakened, it's like an anger come over you because you've been so oppressed in this world and you know that you are the chosen one. Yeah, there's an anger. And then when someone approaches you to abuse you, you're not afraid anymore. You stand up for yourself. And so that is why I said that I believe that this child was a star seed. But I don't condone the violence. You know, the Most High and Mother is teaching all of us and polishing us up and teaching us how to master our energy. Now this was, um, and the shoe was on the other foot. That's how I'll put it. Because we have suffered so much abuse by the hands of the police, you know, and they have done it with impunity. And so now this one out of how many thousands of times that we get that kind of treatment, you know, now we have a 16 year old child here that's very strong. You know, he seemed like he had star seed strength that's fighting back and he's winning the fight. And so now because he won that one fight out of the thousands and thousands of times, you know, of times they did us like this. They want to change the law in their favor again and nobody's listening. They want to make the bells high so they can lock them up in Rikers Island for a few years until their court case is done. They want to do all of that with impunity. And um, it's not happening now because we are at the time of the Great Reset. Yeah. So the force of overseers will be diminishing. I see that in the very near future, along with the magic of the Willie Lynch letter. Yeah, if you're with me on this, put an 86 Willie Lynch in the comments section. Now let's go to the courts of the Most High. Much gratitude, respect, and glory to you, Yahweh, our Father, and Marihala, our Mother. Thank you so much for giving us audience in these courts of the Most High. We see your signs and wonders all over this world, Yahweh, where you're turning it upside down. Thank you so much, Mother, for giving us the wisdom of magic and our enemy's magic that has ruled over us for centuries. Thank you, Father, for letting our seed survive until these days where we can see the Great Reset. Thank you so much for clearing our minds and teaching us how to master our thoughts and master our energy and identifying and targeting the magic of this matrix of Hashatan and his minions. And today, Father, we're bringing the Willie Lynch letter. The Willie Lynch letter that is a relic of the magic that they used against us 
And we ask you, Father, to render it powerless, totally powerless. In your son's name, the Messiah, we come against this magic. Father, we thank you so much for your elevation. You've elevated our minds. You're teaching us how to let go of iniquities that will keep us separated. Mother, you're teaching us how to unify with people that are different from us. You're bringing our love vibration back for each other. And we want to thank you for that. Thank you for the healing that we have had since our awakening. Healing us from all of the wicked magic that was casted upon us, Father. Freeing our minds from this captivity and giving us the lion's roar, hallelujah, where we're now being heard and our voices are reverberating through the kingdom of love and light and throughout this earth. Thank you so much, Father. All praises to the Most High. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching and joining in this fight. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're going to the courts of the Most High in the 5D. Yes, as our brothers and sisters, star seeds, are fighting in this 3D dimension. Hallelujah. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your kind gifts of love. Yeah, they're really appreciated. May the Most High bless them 100-fold of what your hearts desire. Abracadabra, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose of Jericho out. Until the next magical show. Shalom, everyone.